So you know stuff about India? I guess. <laughs> I guess. I probably know more stuff about America. Oh, is that right? Where, oh, I, was man, born, I, was, where I was born and raised. Never would have guessed. <laughs> I know stuff about India, test me. What happened on June 20th? In India. Depends on what year. Duh. Capital riots. <laughs> you got it, dude. You got it. Are we talking about 1000 BC? Yeah, or are we talking about 500? You should have been insulted have. me. You like in, as, in, that, as yeah. in like today. What's today's day? What's the, the real? What did June you say? June 23rd. Today's June 23rd. I shouldn't say it because this video is going to come yeah, out in three years. <laughs> All right. So, uh. Um, time capsule. This video is a time capsule. <laughs> yeah, for there's real. A, there's an elephant in India. You know, there's elephants. Uh, oh, India? yeah. Okay, cool. We're on the same page. Yeah. <laughs> there's an elephant in India that comes oh. into town and kills this old woman, tramples her. Right? Oh. I heard about this. Oh. Oh. oh, this was the revenge killing of the yeah. elephant. And then I returns to trample her a corpse again at her funeral. That's what? That's crazy. Bro. Memory, baby. How could yeah, you yeah. not fucking believe in spiritual? What did animals? she do to yeah, that she, guy? She, she fucked she that animal that, up, bro. What did she do? Okay, I think the professional answer that the media is giving at the end of the day is talking about how, like, you know, there's too much, uh, you know, what's the fucking term when, uh, um, overpopulation? Um, kind of like that, or just find, like, the people. fucking area, so they ask them the <laughs> small, the, the area that is wild, or the environment that's wild for, for these animals to be in, Deep starts to get station. smaller, yeah. and then so they start, you know, yeah. coming into, like, just fucking move. To Vegas and Utah, there's plenty of land. So they're fucking oh. with their habitat, basically. Fucking up their habitat, so which is why they should go to Vegas and Utah. Can, yeah. can elephants exist in the, you know, Utah? buffalo <laughs> plains? Well, I mean, the <laughs> elephant can sustain. What do yeah. elephants eat? Fruits? Vegetables? They'll, they'll, they'll survive in though. the Grand Canyon? I think they'll get poached Small in monkeys? a day. <laughs> Put them all in the Grand Canyon. Yeah, I think you you, you think Americans would start shooting elephants? Fuck yeah, are you yeah, kidding? Yeah, of course, they oh, shoot everything. Dude. Immediately. Once they find out how much they could get for their tours, they're well, like, oh. Now. Have I you seen the uh, monkey people wars? The monkey so, people. No, monkey dog wars. Yeah, yeah, so that whole that whole theme where you're moving into the habitat. You talking about Planet of the Apes? No, they have, so like their their dog. Oh, dogs. Yeah, the monkeys will take the, their dogs yeah. bring it up to like the top of a tree and start dropping them. Yeah, I thought that's because the stray dogs and monkeys were warring because the stray dogs were fighting over the food with Ooh. the monkeys yeah, yeah, and then yeah. they would bite the monkeys and kill them. And so then the monkeys started getting the puppies and throwing them over the mm. the houses and shit. Yeah, that's fucked up. makes sense. Yeah. Monkey dog. Dude, it's survival of sense. the fittest. I mean, yeah. we're just cutting trees down. I know. But they die anyways. Yeah, that's true. So. We're all pieces of shit. So what's up with security? Why can't they keep the same elephant out? Uh, yeah, what's up with security? So on June 10th, 2022, uh, the woman named Maya Mermu, who hailed from Raipal Village, uh, Ring a bell? <laughs> in the district of Odisha Meyer Banj, <laughs> Dude, I'm, I don't know what you're reading. I'm, dude, I'm just speaking Indian. Butcher. This is you're good. <laughs> this is good. I'm gonna. I want. I want you to read it as is, right. so the comment section blows yeah, up. Yeah, dude. You know. You know Maya Mermu <laughs> exactly. from the Raipal village. I probably have a in cousin. The district of Odisha Meyer Banj. Right? Definitely have a cousin there. She was brutally attacked by an elephant in a nearby forest. I have cousins there too. In a nearby forest while collecting water, according to news reports, she was rushed to the hospital where she was pronounced dead very quickly after. Ooh. And after oh. bringing her body home, her family proceeded to make the necessary arrangements for her funeral. But it was all for naught, as on the day of her funeral, the very same elephant returned to the village in an extremely <laughs> foul mood. Did it trample everybody during the... Not everybody else, but just really her. just her and like the rest she of the came house. right back to her? None, none of this is really making any sense. It sounds personal. It, it, she went in, get water, who I'm collected her body? She was there by herself? I'm, I'm on the elephant side. <laughs> so you... Was she cremated? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was her corpse. It said the elephant then proceeded to attack the funeral and targeted Maya's corpse. She was trampling it furiously before letting out a roar that signaled okay. other elephants from his herd to wreck the rest oh, of the building. Wow. Oh, he brought back. This up. looks like a turf war. This sounds like wow. a straight up turf yeah. war. We need an elephant expert this, to. This same thing. elephant somehow managed to identify Maya's home and went on uh, to smash it, killing the goats living there as well. Whoa, goats too! I didn't know Damn. elephants fuck up goats by, like that. By the end, nearly the entire <laughs> village had been wrecked, and many of the Inhabitants had lost their homes. Fucking, is this elephant in MS-13 or some shit? <laughs> some cartel style fucking. I know. I'm not gonna lie though, the village must have been pretty small. It must be like a real village. Or like, the oh. elephants huge. I mean, it's a normal <laughs> elephant. Do elephants are elephants known to attack unprovoked? That's the thing. I don't not know. Tony Jaw. I want to see him fuck up a goat. <laughs> like if you're Tony Jaw and you're doing Muay Thai strikes from the top of their trunks. <laughs> 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 
Oh, okay. For allies, really. Yeah. Normalized like a... Muay Thai strikes from the top of their trunks, by the way. Yeah. Operation Dumbo Drop. They weren't very, those elephants weren't very, you know, they were very friendly. You know? But it's almost like getting into a fight with a bulldozer. Though. <laughs> Who remembers that? <laughs> These guys. You don't remember elephant I Dumbo Drop? Like, uh, Crickets from everybody else, though. Huh? Were they also <laughs> small enough to be carried by cranes? In the movie, or storks? Yeah, bro, in storks. The movie. They, they fit in crates. Oh yeah, they do. In the movie, right? In the movie. Yeah. They like fall and the crates are like, this is my and they like come out, right? Like. <laughs> right. <laughs> See, no crickets here, buddy. <laughs> is this a cartoon or is this like a Hot Shots type of movie? <laughs> It's a hot shots. Oh. It's a hot shots oh. movie. It's actually the bonus episode of Planet Earth. They show all the elephants <laughs> drop. They drop. Narrated by David Attenborough. So it happens at the end of Soaring Over California. <laughs> If you get a if you get a group of just Asians, they show just the Asian portion of the planet. I'm sorry, California. Yeah, yeah, but it's a really exclusive group. It's like it's like, a, it's like an un unlock. You've unlocked it. Like you know. But it's just them going over the Great Wall of China like five times. Who's that guy? Who's like welcome, welcome, <laughs> Mr. Incredible? He's yeah, like yeah. welcome to soaring California. Yeah, yeah. I see we have a full group of Asians. <laughs> Today we'll just go over. Asia. <laughs> Instead of no California. Oh, California. <laughs> Today we're just going through the San Gabriel Valley. <laughs> Soren over 66. <laughs> As you can see, here is Artesia, where all the Indians in LA are. <laughs> Is that really where all the, the Indians Asian are? Tour? It's like the eight, that's like the little India, I assume. Oh, in Artesia? Uh, Artesia, oh. yeah, SoCal. Yeah. What does Sona Chandi mean? Is that a name? So this is yeah. part of the show. Oh. This is part of the show. <laughs> I'm the only guy who speaks oh. Hindi in here, okay? It's on Artesia and fucking... I don't know, I don't speak Hindi, so... I know the family that owns wow. that. You do? The uh, son is a b-boy. Wait, an Indian Sean, right Sean Milani, yeah. Yeah! So Sean mm -hmm. is friends with uh, me and Joe's friend, Alec. Sean oh. That's crazy in a small good. world. Do you remember oh, going to, uh, really yeah. so it's like, it's an entire Indian uh, shop with like, like saris and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then in that whole complex, there's a streetwear store yeah. in the middle of it. And Sean it's gone now, but he Wait, tried like American streetwear or yeah, Indian yeah. streetwear? Like, like hype beast, yeah, hype beast like graffiti, what? graffiti. That must be for all the kids of all the shop owners. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, it shit, was it was called yeah. the cool. deuce. Cool. Was it like hype beast stuff? Yeah. yeah, it was like all like limited streetwear stuff back back in the day, like Karma Loop era. But this Karma dude, his, oh he was like one of the God. only like Indian b boys, and his his b boy name was Habib boy. <laughs> Habib <laughs> boy, oh, that's sick. Habib Damn, boy. what a. Smart, is it Habib bro. Middle Eastern? I guess. Yeah, it's more Arabic. <laughs> So why would he taking advantage of the stereotypes? I know, right? He's just rolling with it. It's because Punjabi boy was taking it. He quit, oh, he quit the Punjabi MC. He's, a, he's yeah. a welder now. He's a welder? Yeah, wow. Like no. art or like like a straight no, up like contractor. a real welder. Like oh, got his, he got his like his license and yes. he's on oh, he's part of the wow. union now. Wow. You need a welding license for welding? I just remember yeah. seeing Vietnamese people go. Brr, brr. <laughs> I'm there with a lighter. So I'm like, this isn't hot enough. This is ain't melting anything. Yeah. Where they scooch the ladder over with their legs. Yes. Yeah. And then they got a cigarette in their mouth the whole time they're doing it. Brr. And they don't take breaks. They just sleep on a cardboard box on the floor. <laughs> the way they cover their face. You know what I'm talking about, right? They don't fucking have mouth. They don't even see what they're doing. Oh my god, yeah, it looks well, dude. Uh, Jet style, dude. baby. Talk yeah. about dangerous jobs. Fun fact. So, uh, deep sea welding is top three most dangerous jobs. Deep? Hand, yeah, you'll yes. die. You gotta be underwater too, you'll, right? You'll die. <laughs> you'll fucking die. <laughs> oh, I thought you were. I thought you were in the deep sea, but above the water. <laughs> oh, you were just like far out in the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you like, think? Like crabby. Like, you, like, like you gotta weld something, but you gotta take it on your boat all the way oh, to the deep yeah. sea. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, no, like flying. you're fixing a boat. Like you're fixing one of those crabbing boats. <laughs> oh, crap. Like out in the deep yeah, ocean. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever, <laughs> open ocean. Oh, yeah, I, I actually don't know if it's called deep, deep sea welder, sea welder. <laughs> but I know it has to do with underwater fucking welding in a scuba gear. But it's one of the it most dangerous, dangerous fucking fuck. jobs. Because I thought like and the torch is just hot enough. Like, how does that work? I don't know. Like, it has a lot of like uh, what do you call it? Like a lot of uh, just hold like, two pixel shrimps. People get hurt. How do they start a fire underwater? No, <laughs> the torch. The torch is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Torch You're just is holding the pistol shrimps. <laughs> get it. Hyperbaric welding. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking wow. at photos of this shit right now. Because I thought being a cop was the most dangerous job, right? Nah. And then I was looking at it. And I was like, <laughs> being a deep sea cop. <laughs> Come Thank on, guys.
That's the dangerous job. Deep sea, Holy deep sea cop right there, dude. <laughs> deep sea cops. That's a tight ass show. That's that's crazy. Do you just think about all the things that you could learn in this world, and it's like it don't mean shit. <laughs> you could be you could be a deep sea welder, or you could start your own hentai corporation. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, so many jobs, right? So many corporation. It's a corporate. If he's starting, it's a corporation. It's H yeah. <laughs> they could be the same. Uh, he's going company to, under the same name. He's deep actually sea welding. Going to go to the deep sea to come out with his ideas. Oh, see. A a welder did. comes up for air. He'll go back and be like, okay. <laughs> I've got my idea. That's needs, perfect, dude. Needs to unload from his stressful day, and that's hey, where dude. I come in. Yeah. That's when we need to find the Venn diagram of deep sea welders and hentai porn. <laughs> What's in the middle? I like the story. I like the story because he's tired, right? So he's like, he's probably away from his his home. So he's on the on the pier, and there's a hotel there, and he meets the lovely receptionist, and that's when the game starts. <laughs> no, no, dude, he doesn't. He just plays on his phone. He just comes he's, up on the boat. Yeah. And he gets to fantasize about all the things. Well, I was talking out. about he's a character in the hentai game. Oh, that's even better! <laughs> that's specificity. And this is where <laughs> I am the owner of the company and you're not because while he's welding, <laughs> he's getting sucked off by a fucking mermaid. That's what I'm or, talking or like about. Like a tentacle monster, right? So it's Isn't kind of sci-fi too? But he still need you need to like have him spit game at the mermaid. Yeah. And oh, figure yeah, out yeah, how yeah. to get sucked. Sirens, yeah, so you can yeah. throw some sirens in there. Whole yeah, like Poseidon yeah. theme going. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, don't fuck my wife. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. This try with his try to it. And he just, <laughs> just <laughs> hearing, Don't fuck my wife. Don't fuck my wife. <laughs> That's the boss. That's the, yeah. the boss. It's like, and then they, it cuts. It's like, yeah. and then, then the music. Well, you could fucking torch his ass, though. I know. I'm not scared of him no more. That's a good right. battle. The underwater, you know. This already sounds way better than the fucking Aquaman movie. It, it is. I was gonna like add better? Aquaman, but no, no, because no, you said that, I'm gonna cut him out. Dude. This is the writer's room for Aquaman yeah, too yeah, right yeah. now. You know that, that movie better. you pitched to me a long time ago about the, the dildo battle? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think if you guys made that into a video game, it actually would be successful. Dildo Wars? Well, whatever, like if it was an RPG, you played as the mom, the number one prostitute, yeah, and yeah, you just... Yeah. Dildo Wars and you play as the mom? Or whoever the main character was? Yeah, there was like that yeah. gang bang going the on. The son, the son, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then he's just like losing his shit while he hears it, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, he might be onto something. Just Dude. think about it, workshop it. We need investors no, no, no. so he can make these games come to life. <laughs>